All right, welcome back everybody for our final part here. Uh, so you can see I'm still in DDo. I haven't quite left it yet. Um, I want to do some some final tweaks. I, I'm to the point where I'm putting this together and getting ready to go into uh, Unity and and reconstruct everything inside Unity here in just a minute. Uh, so first thing I want to do is I, I just want to take a quick run through of some of the settings that I have on these things. For instance, the the uh, metalness, the gloss, you know, how is do I want it maybe not as reflective as it is? Do I want it, you know, whatever it is I want. So let's see, I'm going to kind of do a little, let's get this in nice bright light right there, for instance. Maybe zoom in on it some. There we go. Okay, so let's start playing around. Let's go to our base metal. So I'm going to drop into its group first. Uh, one of the things I think is that I might want to small in small in up I don't know that I can say that I might want to make these smudges here smaller so they're currently a negative one on like my dirt that's my LCD screen my panel base there we go they're currently a negative two uh, let's try drop in let's see let's make some of these invisible so we can kind of see where they are that one doesn't do a whole lot Oh, it does a little bit. Yeah, that does have quite a bit going on in it, doesn't it? Paint, uh, my rust base. So this paint right here, let's select this one because this has a bit of a speckled pattern to it. Let's drop U to minus 2. Let's see, what do we get out of that? All right, and let's see our rust base, minus one. Let's drop it down a little bit as well. Maybe drop it to a minus two. Okay, so I get this really odd behavior going on here. Let's try refreshing this, because what it just did is you notice it made it a positive two instead of a minus two. So, and I probably typed positive two. But that would look really nice on like a battleship or something bigger than this. But this thing, not so much so. See, my paint is also a positive two. So let's make you a minus two as well. Okay. Three do or three do's not really wanting to refresh, so let's do a refresh on this. Sometimes three do just gets a little finicky about what it wants to display. Let's make you a minus 2, not a 52, a minus 2. And let's see over here in our dirt. That's minus 2, minus 2. Okay, this is still a plus 2. That's nice. I don't want it to be a plus 2, though. I really want it to be a minus 2. Got a minus 2 there. Got a minus 2 there. Minus two there, and minus two there. Let's refresh this. Uh, I might actually want to keep that. I, I kind of like how rough that is at the moment. Uh, but I do want to change like gloss and things that are going on. So let's go to our metalness. Now our metalness, black means it's not metal. White means it's entirely metal. So as I crank that up, you see how we get a slight difference in how this is being viewed. Now we can also adjust these within Unity itself, but I'm going to go ahead and get fairly mostly metal. Uh, oops, that was the dirt that I made metal. wasn't that bright, so let me drop the dirt back down. Uh, my paint, uh, my rust base, I'm going to make my rust a little bit metallic, just because I want to. Uh, my gloss map, I'm going to go ahead and Let's take a look at what we've got going on here. My paint, I'm going to degloss that, drop it down some. Discoloration, I definitely don't want it overly glossy. And my dirt, okay, yeah, right about there. So it's not as glossy as it was. You know, you can, as I look at it from the side, you can see it's not quite as glossy. And I need to do some work on these others, but you know, that's what we're here for. That's what we're doing. Okay, so let's go back. Let's take a look at my window. What do I want to do to my window? I don't know. I think I'm actually okay with those. Because, I mean, they're glass. There's only so much you can kind of do on those. So I think maybe I'll keep my that like so. 
No, maybe I will go into the window. I'm going to drop the gloss down on the glass just a little bit. Yeah, something like that. And I'll do the same to my LCD screen up here. Drop its glass gloss down just a little bit. Okay, good enough. Uh, let's see, and my buttons keypad. What's going on with my gloss in there? Uh, plastic base. I really don't want any of these to be all that glossy. I mean, maybe a little bit on the plastic base. Uh, damage. I don't want you to be glossy. Dirt. Uh, I don't want you to be glossy. And my color fill. I don't want you to be glossy either. There we go. All right. You can see how that's kind of changing some stuff there. Nameplate. Let's go take a look at our nameplate. And drop your gloss down just a little bit. Color fill, I'm going to drop your gloss down. And this color fill, I'm really going to drop your gloss down. Because I almost did that more of as a dirt than, than a real uh, metallic color fill on it. Let's see our metalness. Yeah, that looks good. And for our screws here, I uh, did not go into the screws. There we are, the screws. Metalness, yeah, that looks good. Gloss, uh, steel base, let's drop that down just a little bit. I don't want it to be quite as glossy. Okay. All right, that'll do. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and say I'm going to close 3Do. And let's do a uh, drop down arrow here. Let's save our project. And then at this point, I'm going to go ahead and close uh, Dedo really quick, like so. Yeah, let's go ahead and save the project. I sh it should have just saved, but let's do it again anyway. And while it's closing down there, I'm going to go ahead and drag over from in our directory we've been working on. I'm going to go into the texture set and we've got these images here. So let's go ahead and I'm going to exit out of Quixel for the moment. And I'm going to grab all of these images. What do we have in bakes? Yeah, I don't care about that. So I'm going to grab previewer. Just kind of browsing around here. So I'm going to grab uh, the albedo, the emissive, the gloss, the metalness, the normal, and the opacity. This uh, IDs and this um, this other mask, I'm not even sure what this is. I, sh I won't need e any of those inside Unity. I'm just going to need these guys right here. So I'm going to go ahead and drag them all and drop them into Photoshop and let Photoshop load these up natively, if you will. And what I'm going to do in here is I'm, I'm going to keep the uh, Photoshop originals. Uh, let's, um, let's out here, let's create a new directory, control shift N, and I'm going to call this uh, final, final content is what I'm going to call this. And in this final content, I want my OBJ file. So I'll just do a control C, control V to paste it in there. And all of these others, I want to go ahead and save these out without all of this. So I'm just going to save these as Targas, uh, I, not PNGs, because I do want alpha channels on some of these. So I'm going to definitely save these as Targas. All right, so let's go ahead and for my first one, I'm going to do a file save as. Go into my final content. This is, I'm going to rename some things here just a little bit. I don't want Security Console, Security Console. There we go. And I'm going to save it as a Targa. Do a save. And we got that one saved out. And I'm going to do that for all the rest here. So you don't really need to watch me do that again and again and again. Um, so I'll grab this one. Well, I guess you're going to because I don't feel like pausing. I probably should, but I'm not going to. Uh, let's see. Yep. 
save that one as a targa and it doesn't have an alpha channel yet so that's why I can't select it but if I want to add alpha channels later I can okay I'm gonna save it as 24 bits okay all right so I'm actually gonna pause while I finish up the others okay so I've got all those targas saved out and what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and drop into Unity and start, kind of start putting this together. As it turns out, there's going to be a couple of things that I need to do. I need to adjust uh, some of the alpha information on some of these things. And we'll see that as we, as we put this together. For instance, our metalness map is really going to want to watch, want smoothing information placed in its alpha channel. Uh, so we'll, we'll take a look at how this works. But let's go ahead and just kind of get a so here I am inside unity and I'm just going to go ahead and just start the process of importing some stuff in here um, where's my there's my folder so I'm going to just go into import final content and just drop it over here and let unity import this And I'm going to then go a step further, and I'm even going to rename this. Uh, I'm going to name, rename this to be Security Console, like so. Let's take a look at what we've got inside here. No big deal. So our Security Console does not need a rig. It has no animations. I'm just going to come out here to my scene view, and let's just drop it out here somewhere, maybe like so. Let's see. Let's kind of get this visible here somehow. Aha, it's facing the wrong way. So let's take our security con camera console. There we go. Let's rotate this guy the other direction. And I see that my pivot points off on this. Thought I'd fix that, but apparently not. Let's just put it in the center. Okay, so how, what are we seeing? Okay, so that's what we're seeing at the moment. Let's move you down. Let's move you over this way. Let's maybe move you a little closer to the camera, right about there. Oh, what else can we do to our rotation? I'm going to put it like that. So maybe we can get a little bit of our bump detail showing up here as well. Let me rotate it just a little bit further, actually. Okay, let's move it back. Whoop. Wrong way. All right, let's do something like that. Okay, so I'm going to start putting our material together. So we've got a security console, security console material. I'm going to rename that. I don't think it needs to be that long. There we go. Okay, so we are a standard shader, so we're going to bring our albedo and drop it up there. Now we've got our albedo looking good so far. Let's bring our metallic metalness drop it right there you can see how that just changed this metallic aspect of it I can adjust my smoothness like so but notice the smoothness is being adjusted uniformly to this object and what's going on there if we go back into well let's do this here let's go to security cons uh, security console let's right click and let's show this folder in my Explorer and I'll go in there let's bring Photoshop back up and I want to get my metalness. Where's my metalness map? Here it is. So I'm going to bring my metalness and bring that into Photoshop. So here's my metalness map. Dang it. Get out of the way. And if I go to my channels, I don't actually have an alpha channel. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to, if you come back here into Unity and take a look at our material, notice we don't have a gloss map. I'm going to use my gloss map as my smoothness map. So let's get back here into Photoshop. Let's grab our gloss. Right here it is. I'm going to drag it in over here. So this is my gloss map. Notice it is just one layer as well. I mean one, one color. It's basically grayscale, which is what we're wanting. So I'm going to do a Control A, Control C to select all of that. Come back over here into my security console. Let's go to our color. I'm sorry, not our color. That was dumb. In our channels, let's add an alpha to this. And I'm going to do a control V and paste in that alpha information right there. And so my smoothness is now going to be pulled out from this information right here. So let's go ahead and resave this. So I'll do a file save as. This time alpha channels is checked. 
I'm going to go ahead and do security console smoothness metalness let's do that I'm going to save it as a PNG no as a target I'm sorry let's You know what I bet I know what the problem is here? Hold on, let me cancel out of that. Let me come up here. Image, mode, grayscale, 8 bits per channel. That should be fine. Let me go to... Try my RGB there. File. Save as... Targa, now I've got my alpha channel. So I just had to convert it to a RGB instead of a gray channel or grayscale. Uh, so I'm saving it as a Targa. Uh, let's see, I wanted to add smoothness to the end of this. Smoothness, there we go, just to kind of differentiate it. Let's save that. Uh, 32 bits. And what this is doing is this is actually going to give me some more color information so let's go ahead and go to 32 bits do an okay and go back into unity all right unity so we've got this new one i'm going to put this one up here in my metallic like so and you can see how that altered how this metallic is be behaving because we're pulling the smoothness out of the metallic alpha before we didn't have anything in there and now we've got some information in there and we're able to actually adjust so like you can see remember in that alpha these these screens were probably the whitest part of it so as I'm adjusting this you can see how that is and also along these screw heads up here you can see how that is adjusting how that is uh, reflecting how that is glossing how that's being smooth for instance uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and crank that up to right about there pretty good okay and a normal map well I've got a normal map right down here so let's grab our normal map let's stay on our security console right there uh, so my normal map is gonna be this guy I'm gonna drop him up there it's gonna say hey this isn't a normal map what should I do well just fix it we will be alright okay so now you can see where we we're getting this bump information this normal information looking pretty nice there uh, let's add an emission to this next so uh, I'm going to go to my emissive, drag it up here, like so. You can see our glow that's happening there. And I can increase or decrease the quality of the, or the amount of it, like so. I can explode it, like so. Uh, so let's keep it at a 1. And just to kind of get a better idea of what's going on, I'm going to take my directional light, and I'm going to turn my directional light off. Actually, let's go one step further. Let's go into our window our light mapping or our lighting I don't know, not light mapping lighting and I am going to I'm going to do something here <laughs> uh, environment lighting I'm gonna hit uh, my default skybox I'm gonna set it to be none there we go and so my ambient color I'm gonna make it actually black there we go so that way I'm not getting any ambient lighting from anything else. So if I take my directional light and turn that off, you can see how these are providing a little bit of glow in our world. And we can see it a little bit better if I go to my main camera and get rid of this blue background, make it a black background. There we go. So now my directional light, you know, I'll turn it off. There you go. Now you can see how that's glowing there a little bit better. Pretty nice stuff. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next up, uh, security cons, uh, main camera. No, let's actually just. There we go. That looks good. Uh, what, what do we? Oh, we want to do the opacity. So go to our security console material right here, and let's go to a change from rendering mode to we we'll go to transparent. And notice that I don't have a spot for an opacity map. The reason that is is this opacity map is actually pulled out of our albedo alpha channel. So back in Photoshop. So we're back here in Photoshop. Let's close these two that we worked with last time. And what we want to open this time is going to be not that. 
going to probably be that one. I want my albedo, which is right here. I'll bring that in, and I want my opacity, and I'll bring that one in. So the opacity, I'm going to do a control A, control C, go to my albedo over here. Let's add an alpha channel, do a control V to paste this alpha in there, turn all our channels back on. This red is telling me, hey, this part's transparent. Did you know that? And it's kind of like, yeah, I will. I mean, I was hoping it would be. Uh, now we'll go File, Save As, and I'm going to call this one Security Console Opacity Albedo. There we go. Let's save that one. 32 bits, cool. Let's get back into Unity. Let's change our Albedo up here to use this Opacity one instead. There you go. You see how that just became see-through. Uh, let's change. Transparent is really nice, but we actually have three options, uh, or four options. Opaque is you can't see through anything. Cutout, what cutout is, is anything that has any alpha just gets cut out. Um, really useful for like sprite backgrounds or um, plants or like a chain link fence, things like that. You see what the cutout did? <clears throat> it just cut it out, and I end up with a little bit of. Uh, flecking here and there. Uh, but once again, if I was making a chain link fence, cutout is wonderful, awesome. I'm not making a chain link fence. Transparent, you just saw. That's kind of nice. But my personal favorite for glass for windows really is this fade. Uh, so it, I, I just feel that you get more of the the impact of the uh, fading that we are doing with our, our alpha. Okay, so security console. Let's bring you over. Here, I'm going to move you a little bit. There we go. Okay, so here is our security console at the moment. Oops, I didn't want to zoom in that way. Let me move it a little bit on my Z axis, a little, just a smidge, something like that. And, well, there we go. We have our pretty nice looking little security console. Got it in Unity. We're ready to do stuff with it. So, um, I hope this was helpful to you guys. I know I had, I had fun doing it. Uh, if you have any questions, just drop them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. If I have no clue what they are or what the answer is, uh, maybe somebody else will know um, so we can all learn something cool. All right, other than that, um, everybody have a good day, and uh, we'll see you in the next set sometime.